Hello, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer, and the Allegheny County, Pennsylvania Common Law Grand Jury Reinstatement Committee Organizer. And this is an update, and this is regarding the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Well, it was in Congress over a week ago, it got stalled, and then it got with some arm twisting by the Obama administration and the Democrats. It just got r ran through the uh, House, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We're now officially entrenched in tyranny, which is the opposite of freedom, folks. I think we should, uh, it, well, I'm just so upset about this, uh, this treaty, this contract that we signed. It's a UN treaty slash contract. It violates this document, Article 1, Section 10 of this document of the U.S. Constitution, folks. Uh, I think we should write, uh, this is just a suggestion, it's a strong suggestion uh, to National Liberty Alliance and to every other liberty-minded uh, constitutional group throughout this nation of the United States of America. We should write, you should come to nationallibertyalliance.org and every member, including myself, and I strongly suggest that we should write a presentment. We should write, go over this information, write a presentment, and, and, and present the Congress, the Senate, and the Obama administration for being traitors, violating the U.S. Constitution. Article 1, Section 10. This is a part of Agenda 21. This is about internet censorship. This is about merging us with different unions, with the European Union, the Asian Union, and the North American Union, making a one world government, a one world religion, and a one world banking system. That means Christians won't be accepted in this one world government, one world government. A one world, a, a new world order. Uh, it, it's showtime, folks. Wake up. We are we are officially in a nation of tyranny. That is the opposite of opposite of freedom. It's on like Donkey Kong. I strongly suggest that the National Liberty Alliance leadership write a, a presentment, an indictment, indict the Obama administration, indict all the, uh, the, the U.S. representatives, the Congress and the Senate that passed this unconstitutional bill. And, and this, and this uh, bill, or this uh, treaty, uh, it, well, the bill that was rammed through it allows Obama, Barack H. Obama, our president, and the vice president, George, I mean, Joe Biden, and, whom, and whomever else may be in this administration, to be a dictator, to be a dictator. And that also goes for future presidents. This, this is going to, we're not free anymore, folks. I'm upset about this. It's showtime, folks. It, it's on like Donkey Kong. And I don't mean to be making these uh, quotes. I'm upset. This is violating our freedom. There is no freedom anymore. This is tyranny. A full-blown dictatorial tyranny. Agenda 21. George Herbert Walker Bush signed us on, signed the United States of America back in 1992 on the, on the Agenda 21 treaty, treaty backed by the United Nations. That man should be fouled, for, should be charged with treason, violating Article 1, Section 10 of this Constitution. You could read in this pocket Constitution with George Washington, 
our first president, which was an independent. He, he was the one very vocal on, on the factions, the parties. If you allow party, I mean factions, which he was referring to the parties, Democrats and Republicans. If you allow the any type of faction to take control of the political structure, it would de divide the nation and destroy the country. Look what's going on. For well over 150 years, look who's been in control. The Democrats and the Republicans. They've destroyed this country. They allowed the Federal Reserve Act to come about. That's a treaty violating, once again, Article 1, Section 10 of this U.S. Constitution. And I don't know if I got this through. I'm just ranting. Um, let me see which page is Article 1, Section 2 of the U.S. Constitution. It's pages 8 and 9 of this pocket constitution with our first Indi the first president, which was an independent. He didn't belong to any faction or parties. But this is regarding the, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the signing of this bill, the treaty that will support this unconstitutional, unlawful, very unlawful bill to support the, the Trans-Partner, the Trans-Partner, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I'm so, I'm ranting so much, I'm forgetting what I'm going to say. Well, this is Patriot of the Republic and the Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, Common Law Grand Jury Reinstatement Committee organizer saying so long and goodbye for now and God bless. Let's take action. Let's stand up and take action against all this tyranny with this, with what what just conspired in the past week, in the past couple days, in the few hours. Well, once again, Mike Former saying goodbye and so long. God bless. Talk to you later, everyone. God bless. Take care.